Welcome to Pure Talk. Today we're going to talk about how to get ready in 15 minutes or less. This look is very natural, perfect for everyday wear with a little pop of color, that lip gloss. So it's very easy to achieve and I also did eyebrows. I'm going to show you how to do that in a very small amount of time. Let's get started. I'm going to start this off with Spotlight. It's a liquid foundation, it's waterproof, and it's one of my favorite. I'm going to put it on my hand like this and just kind of warm it up before applying it to my face. I take the time to just look and see if there's any troubled spots, ooh, like this one. You can do this with any liquid foundation. If you warm it up first, you'll, you will see the difference. It will go on your skin very nicely. When you're applying this under the eye area, you wanna make sure that you tap very gently with your pinky. This will help prevent premature aging. Make sure that you blend all the areas. Make sure that you don't have any fine lines. Don't forget about the neck area and jawline. Next, give your hands a good wipe. Next is primer. As you can see, I hardly have any left. You wanna tap this on very gently and this will neutralize the eyelid area. Take away any redness, darkness, or even veins that might be showing through. The primer prepares your lids for an eyeshadow application. While the primer is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and brush my brows. Even if you don't have time for a brow powder or a brow pencil or anything to put in the brows, it's always a good idea to give them a nice brush. I'm gonna use here an angled eyeliner brush, dip it in some brow powder, and just very gently fill in a couple of spots that I feel are a little sparse. When you're doing this, you wanna use very light and short strokes, following the natural direction of your brow hair. If you feel that you've gone a little too dark in certain areas or you put on just a little bit too much powder, you can always lighten it up with a Q-tip afterwards. Then gently brush through for a nice natural look. The palette I'm using here is called Unashamed. I'm gonna put this beautiful light color under the brows. Then I'm gonna take another light color and just sort of fill in and I'm not doing this any particular way. I'm just filling in the space. You don't have to be extra cautious here. Then I'm taking a slightly darker color and putting it on the lid. Now I could leave it at that, but I'm gonna go in with a darker color. This is like a smoky gray and I'm going in very, very, very light, just over the eyelid itself, and slightly in the crease. And I'm just going to keep on brushing back and forth until this is blended the way I would want it to be blended so that it doesn't look like there's any harsh lines. And also, you want to make sure here that one eye isn't darker than the other. So keep looking back and forth, adding where it's needed. Next, I'm going to take an eye shimmering cream and just add a little bit of pop right underneath my brows and in the corner of my eyes. I like a little bit of shimmer there because it really opens up the eye and makes you look even more awake. Next, I'm gonna take that same dark shadow that I put on top of the lids, that smoky gray, and I'm gonna use my angle brush to add a little bit of eyeliner. I 
I'm doing very light short strokes. Next, I'm going to go in with my Promising Day Contour Palette, and I'm going to use the number two highlight. It's a yellow, and it's going to neutralize any dark shadows I might have under the eyes. I'm going to follow that with number one, which is a highlight, but it's a pink matte, just to make sure that that blends in a little better with my skin tone. I'm going to finish this off by using the semi matte color number three for extra highlighting on my face. I love this color and I'm constantly refilling it for the cupid's bow, the nose, chin, and forehead. I'm going to finish this look off with some mascara. Then just add a pop of color with a nice pink lip gloss. Make sure that you're not using any color that can clash with your outfit or the rest of your look. When you're adding the blush, just do it lightly so that it's just a very natural, smooth look. You want the blush to look like it's your natural rosiness shining through. Use some powder to mattify any areas where you may be prone to excessive shine. At this point, you can add some concealer if there are some blemishes or marks that you're looking to conceal. Then you can set it with powder. I'm just gonna add a little bit more blush here. I'm going to put a Q-tip through my brows one last time just to make sure that it has a very natural look and that there's no spots that are darker than others. And there we go. Almost ready. After you're done doing your makeup, all you have to do is put on your work jacket, pop on your earrings, and grab your favorite mug or to-go cup. The thing that I love about this makeup look is that it is a, still a very natural look. It's not over the top at all. It gives you a very natural feel. Really the, the big pop of color here is the lip gloss. And that's it, you know, everything else is very natural, very neutral, and it's perfect for every day. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it helps you when you have 15 minutes or less to get ready in the morning. If you like this video and would like to see others just like it, subscribe to this channel. You can also check us out on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and our website, gpurity.com. Leave a comment below and let me know what tips you like to use to save time in the morning. I would love to hear from you. I'm off to go get some work done. So till next time, bye.